Cheeky Richo's Date Cake. Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Date Loaf made in a round nut loaf tin. Now these tins are very very old and you cook your cake in it with a lid on it standing upright and what you end up with is a cylindrical cake. The ingredients are scrolling as I speak and in the recipe box below so let's get started. Over medium heat the first thing we're going to do is add our water to our pan with our butter and our brown sugar. Now we're going to melt this right down, dissolve our brown sugar and add our dates and they're going to get all pulpy and syrupy. Soak up all of that moisture. Now we've got our vanilla bean here, we're just going to chop that quite finely and use the whole pieces of the vanilla bean, not just the seeds. No reason to waste that, it'll mulch down quite well. There's our vanilla bean there, it's just in with our bubbling syrup. Pretty soon that's going to start smelling fairly amazing. Now we've just got pecans here, we're just going to give them a really rough chop. We still want to have some texture in this so don't get too serious with this. But we do want it distributed fairly well between the pieces of cake and they're sliced. It's not too bad. That's come to a boil and our sugar has dissolved so it's now in with our really finely chopped up dates. And we need those to get really quite syrupy. Good pinch, anything up to a teaspoon of cinnamon, depending on your taste. Now after about five minutes, this is what you should have. It's really quite syrupy. It's nearly the consistency of a fruit mince. Now we're just going to turn that off now and set it to one side to cool a little while we grease our tin, because that's a bit of a production in its own. Okay, there's only one sure way to do this properly, and that is to use your fingers and just rub the butter, warm butter, well around the inside of the tin. The lids and the sides get special attention. And you can feel with your fingers if you've missed anywhere. You've got clean hands anyways. We should have if you're cooking. It's much more effective than using paper. And there's smooth edges on the tin so you're unlikely to cut yourself. There you go. All done. Pop the bottom on, like so. And just stand it to one side. Now with our tin prepared, it's time to carry on with our cake. It's cooled slightly, so we're going to... Add our bicarb soda. Watch this bit, it's going to get really fuzzy. It looks really funky. See that? It's sort of bubbling on its own. Now it's in with our flour all at once. Our chopped up nuts. Just mix this through. In with our egg. Don't need to beat it up, it's all good. And just mix this all through. Great using a wok because it's just like a giant mixing bowl. You can have trouble flicking it out the sides and you can have a really good go at it. That's what you should have. Just sit our date tin or nut loaf tin onto a baking tray and start to spoon our mixture straight in. Gloop. Now you don't need to ice this, it's to typically served either warm or cold with butter spread on it. It's a very old fashioned recipe. My nanny used to make it for me. And it'll come about two thirds of the way into the side of the tin. Now we just bake this in a 170 degrees Celsius oven. And you can't test it when it's cooked because you can't get the lid off while it's still so hot. So it sort of steams as well as bakes. Give it a bit of a tap down, clean off the edge so that it doesn't cement itself on. Okay, now we're gonna cook that for about 45 to 50 minutes. Lid on, into the oven, standing upright. Okay, time to take our date loaf out of the oven. It's very hot, so just be careful as you hold it. Just take it off that tray. You need it to cool now. So if you can just hang on to the top and just put a cloth over the top <laughs> and give it a bit of a wrestle off. And there you have it. Cheeky Richo's date loaf baked in a nut loaf tin. So just allow that to cool for a few minutes and then we just push it out and slice it up and have it with our morning coffee and some cold slabs of butter. Okay, now we just give our little date cake a bit of a shake. It's still quite warm. Just loosen it from its sides. Take its bottom off. Pull that off. And give it a bit of a shake. It should, should slide out. Okay, a round cake. Pop it onto your prettiest tea plate. Let it sit for a minute to cool a little bit more while you make your coffee. Now we just get a sharp knife and slice it down. It's really quite warm still, so it'll probably crumble a little bit. But there you have it. 
Cheeky Richo's Date Loaf in a Nut Tin. I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration. If you would like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Cheeky Richo channel. And don't forget to please subscribe. And do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos every week. Oh, this smells amazing. Cheeky Richo's Date Cake. Have a little taste, shall we? Just grab one of our little butter curls. Still quite warm and the butter's quite cold, so that's the best way to have it. Mm. That's gorgeous. Thanks for watching.